there's an eagle! Wow. wow! The next part of the tour is by boat! Boat? This rope ladder is for your convenience! What? You want us to climb down? Yes! Down you go! What do we do now? Just sit back and go with the flow! Okay! Just watch out for the rapids! Whoa! Yes, lots of fun. Look, caves! Wow, just think, we might be the first to ever enter these caves. Postcards, drinks, <laughs> snacks! Huh? Welcome to the Canyon Caves. Come and have a look. These were homes for the people who lived here a long time ago. They drew pictures of all the animals that lived here. Look, there's the eagle. Ooh. And that is the end of the tour. Thank, Thank you, you Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. My pleasure. Where are you off to now? We're going to Hollywood to be in a movie with Super Potato and Hash Brown. Wow, I would love to be in a movie with Hash Brown. You can come too if you like. Well, that's very kind, but I'm so busy here. You have a great time in Hollywood. We will. Bye. 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 Enjoy Hollywood. Pepper and her family are on their way to Hollywood. I'm Peppa Pig. We won a ticket to be in your movie. Vegetables in space. Then let's get to the studio. We've got a movie to make. <laughs> Here is the movie studio. This is where we make the movie. Wow! It's like we're really in space. That's right. Time to put on your costumes. <laughs> Pepper and her family are dressed up as broccoli. <laughs> you look funny, Mummy Broccoli. So do you, Pepper Broccoli. Shh! No talking on set. We are about to start filming my movie, Vegetables in Space. Lights. <laughs> camera. Action. Attention. The galaxy is being taken over by a bunch of naughty carrots. Not the carrots. Yes, the naughty carrot bunch. I, Super Potato, am here to save the day. And I, Hash Brown, will save the day, too. Um, what do we do? You are the vegetables in space. You have to cheer when we save the day. Oh, OK. How are you going to save the day, Super Potato? Uh, we haven't thought of that bit yet. Oh, no! The naughty carrots will destroy the universe. If only there was some way of getting rid of them. We can't eat the carrots. But there are too many. Hello? Hello there. What's this? There are some fans here to see Hash Brown. It is Miss Rabbit, Miss Rabbit, Miss Rabbit, and Miss Rabbit. Hooray! It's the Miss Rabbit. We decided to take the day off for a change. We couldn't miss Hash Brown. He's our favorite potato starch-based movie star. <laughs> You're too kind. Uh, could you help us save the universe? We have to eat the carrots. Sure thing, we're rabbits. We love carrots. <laughs> save some for me. I love carrots too. Look, it's our Miss Rabbit. Mmm, yummy. Love this motorhome. <laughs> a motorhome is a house that you can drive. Are we in Hollywood yet, Daddy Pig? Let's ask someone. Hello. Hello. Well, howdy, folks. I'm Miss Rabbit. Oh, it's another Miss Rabbit. Yep, 
there's a lot of us around. What can I do you for? Stop him for some gas? No, uh... But to eat? Well, we... Country dancing. We would just like to know if we're in Hollywood, please. No, ma'am, you're a long way from Hollywood. Oh. But as you're here, why don't you just settle down and get some of that good old home cooking in your belly? Well, I suppose we could stop for breakfast. Hooray! <laughs> So what'll it be? Sunny side up or sunny side down? Eggs over easy, no need to frown. <laughs> <laughs> Eggs over easy, please. Coming right up. Cooking an egg and shaking a leg. Cooking and shaking and cooking an egg. What's eggs over easy? I flip the egg over. Thank you. And what's sunny side up? I don't flip the egg over. It stays like this. Sunny side up, please. And me. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is good at cooking eggs. Cooking an egg and shaking a leg. Cooking and shaking and cooking an egg. I love my sunny side up egg. Mmm. Eggy. <laughs> Thank you. That was delicious. Now I'll just sit back, relax, and... So, who likes dancing? Me! <laughs> Good! Then y'all come and meet Mr. Bob Bobcat and his band. All join hands and step to the right. Keep on stepping and make it tight. Oh my gosh, oh my Joe. Keep on stepping and here we go. Let's all join in. Y'all be needing these. <laughs> Take your partner by the hand, now everybody swing! Swing, swing, swing! Woo, woo, yee-haw! Peppa, would you like to do the singing? Yes, please! <laughs> Jump up and down like in a cut. Jump up and down and... Round Never done a square dance like that before. Y'all keep the noise down, please. We can't hear our monster trucks. Monster truck! This is a monster truck. Wow! Those big wheels have got a car on top of them. <laughs> Mr. Coyote is going to jump over a big muddy puddle. <laughs> That looks fun. You can have a go, Daddy Pig. Oh, OK. Hooray! Oh, it is a bit high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. You need to go faster to jump over the puddle. Faster, Daddy! Whoa. Ah! <laughs> Daddy's truck is jumping up and down in muddy puddles! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, why don't you have a go? Oh, I think we need to get back on the road to Hollywood. Hollywood? Yes, we're going to be in a movie with Super Potato and Hash Brown. Hash Brown? Well, he's my favourite. You can come too if you like. Oh, I would love to, darling, but I'm kind of busy. Goodbye now. Oh, thanks for stopping by. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. <laughs> Pepper and her family. Pepper and George are watching Super Potato. Hoo-ha! When a trip to Hollywood to star in my new film, Vegetables in Space. Ooh! Just find the golden ticket to win the trip of a lifetime to America! Mummy, can we find Super Potato's golden ticket, please? Well, there's only one ticket in the whole world. So we'd have to be very lucky to find it. Oh, what's this in the potato? It's the golden ticket! <gasps> Does that mean...? Yes, it means we're going to America! America! Pepper and her family are flying to America. Miss Rabbit is the pilot. This is your captain speaking. We'll soon be arriving in America. I think. 
Does anyone know where it is? I've never been before. You can't miss it. It's really big. Is that it? Let's ask. Hello down there. Are you America? Yes, ma'am. We are. Jolly good. We're coming into land. <laughs> Welcome to America. <gasps> Miss Rabbit at your service. Where do you want to go? You're Miss Rabbit. Sure. But this is Miss Rabbit. Every town needs a Miss Rabbit. That's right. Bye. Enjoy your trip. Is this Hollywood? Hollywood? No! This is New York. Hop in. I'll give you the tour. <laughs> <laughs> New York, the city that never sleeps. Do you never sleep? Well, yeah, but only at night. <laughs> wow! The buildings are so tall! First stop of the tour, the Empire State Building! Wow! wow. Can we go to the top? For sure. Going up. Do you do all the jobs, Miss Rabbit? No, just the important ones. Ice creams! Ooh! We're so high in the sky! Oh, I can't look. Daddy Pig does not like heights. But there's so much to see, Daddy. Yes! With this telescope, you can see even more. I can see a big green lady with an ice cream. That's the Statue of Liberty. Look at me. I miss a Statue of Liberty. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, people. we got to get moving. Oh, going already? Yeah, like we say in New York, if you ain't moving, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm moving. Where are we going next, Miss Rabbit? Times Square. Look at all the lights, Mummy! There must be a million light bulbs here. It's the most light bulbiest square in all the world. Oh, look! There's Super Potato! Coming soon, the new movie from Super Potato and Ash Brown, Vegetables in Space! That's a movie we're going to be in! Really? Well, then you better get straight to Hollywood! Yes. Can you take us? I'm afraid not, but I have just the thing to get you there. A motorhome! What's a motorhome? It's just like a house. On wheels! Ooh. Ooh. Here are your keys. Do you want to come too? And meet Hash Brown? Oh, sure. But I'm just so busy. You all have a great time. Thank, Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. Oh. I'm tired out. Yes, for a city that never sleeps, it's made me very sleepy. It has been a very busy day in New York. Good night. Night, night. night. Pepper and her family need a good night's sleep. Children, Mr. Potato is here to talk to you today about eating fruit and vegetables. Oh! I am going to show you a movie called Super Potato. Yay! Super Potato! Wow! Oh, my hat is blown off. Help me, Super Potato! By the power of vegetables, I am here. Aha! Thank you, Super Potato. Remember, kids. Always eat your five a day. Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. And now we have a very special guest. Can you guess who it is? It's not my daddy, is it? No. It's not my daddy, is it? No, it is nobody's daddy. Is it my mummy then? No, it is no relation of anyone here. The special guest coming to see you today is... Super Potato is coming. Hooray! But before he does, we must call him... <clears throat> Super Potato! Super Potato! Very good. I'll just go and see if he is outside. Keep shouting. 
Super Potato! Super Potato! By the power of vegetables, I am here! Hooray! Wonderful! Now, who has a question they would like to ask Super Potato? Ask me anything you like about fruit and vegetables. Anything. What is the tallest building you've ever jumped? What's that? Why do I like carrots so much? I'll tell you why. Because they are so tasty. Can you run faster than a train? Which vegetable makes you run fast? That's a good question. I would have to say a Brussels sprout. Have you ever eaten a potato? Uh... Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Welcome to Digger World, where all your digger dreams come true. <laughs> this is the Sand Digger ride. Ooh. Pepper and George, jump on board. Mummy and Daddy Pig, you have to pedal. Oh. oh. <laughs> Now, fill up this big bucket with sand. <laughs> this is fun! Yes, fun! <laughs> Excellent work, children. Now we flip the bucket over, give it a tap, et voila! Hooray! Pepper and George have made a big sand castle. Let's go to the next ride. This is the wall building ride. <laughs> Stack these soft blocks to make a wall. Hurry up, Mummy. OK, Peppa. <laughs> Pedal faster, Mummy. Oh, I'm going as fast as I can, Peppa. <laughs> Nearly finished. There. A lovely wall. <sighs> Here comes George with a demolition digger. Meow. <laughs> oh dear, George has knocked down Peppa's wall. George! You naughty piggy! <laughs> Ho -ho! Building things up, then knocking them down! It's all part of the fun at Digger World! <laughs> this is the grabber machine. How do we play this one? Let's hope it's not pedal powered. Mummy and Daddy Pig do the pedaling. Oh. oh. Pepper and George use the grabber to win a lovely prize. Ooh. There are Mr. Potato dolls or toy dinosaurs to be won. I'm sure. <laughs> And this is Mr. Potato himself. Welcome to Potato City, where the magic of vegetables never ends. Ooh. See how vegetables grow. Learn how they keep us fit and healthy. And get shot into space by the Potato Rocket. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are going to ride on the potato rocket. George wants to ride on the potato rocket, too. Are you sure, George? It looks a bit high. Daddy Pig doesn't like heights. Moo! Hurry up, Daddy Pig! Oh, I'm not getting on. George is too small to go on his own. Oh, OK. Make it quick. Oh, it's very quick. <laughs> George has changed his mind. Oh, dear, George. Come to Mummy. Maybe I'll just get off, too. George, away! Have fun, Daddy Pig. Uh... Oh, it's stopped. Well, I'm glad that's all over. Uh, yes. Lots of fun. Mummy, what's that? Go round and put your head through that hole. Now what happens? <laughs> <laughs> Susie, you're a tomato. Look, I'm a carrot. Oh, yes. And I'm a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Dinosaur Garden. Ooh. Say hello to my dinosaur friends. 
Uh, don't be frightened. They are not real. But this is exactly how they would have looked walking the Earth together. No, it's not. What? Triceratops lived in the Cretaceous period. The Stegosaurus was Jurassic. They would not have walked together. How do you know that? I'm a clever clogs. <laughs> Mr. Potato! Mr. Potato has come to town. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Potato! Hooray! Hooray! Wow, that's a big potato! I declare this sports centre open. Fantastic! We must all exercise and eat fruit and vegetables. Which one should we eat, Mr. Potato? Apples, oranges, carrots, tomatoes. Potatoes? Um. Why aren't you small, like a normal potato? Uh. Because he's not a normal potato. He's got legs. Normal potatoes don't have legs. He's a super potato. <laughs> We watch your show every morning. Very good. And remember to send me your drawings. We will. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we will do drawings for Mr. Potato. Hooray! I'm drawing a pineapple. I'm drawing a carrot. Very good. What are you drawing, Emily? A pea. Lovely. And Pedro? It's a super potato. Oh, I see. And George has drawn a wonderful tomato. <laughs> Peppa, what vegetable have you drawn? My daddy watching television. Oh, excellent. Now, we put the drawings in an envelope and post them to Mr. Potato. It is morning and time for the Mr. Potato Show. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Potato! We posted some drawings to Mr. Potato in an envelope. Welcome to the Mr. Potato's Christmas Show, where the magic of vegetables never ends. Ooh. Hello, children. I am Mr. Potato. This is Mrs. Carrot. Here is Sweet Cranberry. And here is everyone's favorite Christmas vegetable, Little Sprout. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Little Sprout gone? Little Sprout, where are you? He's lost. Oh. oh. Can you help us find him, boys and girls? Yes! <laughs> if you see him, boys and girls, shout out, There's Little Sprout! There's Little Sprout! That's it! When you see him, shout like that. There he is! He's behind you! Where? There! Behind you! I can't see him. They're not very good at looking, are they? <laughs> there you are, you cheeky little sprout. I'm the magic fairy carrot. Look, children, I can fly. There's a string lifting her up. I can grant you one wish. What do you wish for? I wish we had a Christmas tree. Your wish is my command. Ooh. Now we can sing our Christmas song. Would you like to hear it, boys and girls? Yes! Sweet little sprout on the Christmas tree Potatoes, carrots and cranberry It's, it's a very special, special Christmas with all our friends, our friends Where well, the magic of vegetables never ends That's the end. Goodbye, children. Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas, everybody! First, you have to twitch your nose and squeak, like this. Squeak, squeak! Squeak, squeak! <laughs> Very good.
with Peppa Rabbit and George Rabbit. <laughs> Peppa likes being a rabbit. George likes being a rabbit. Rabbits like carrots. Delicious. Nom, 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 nom. Delicious. Yuck. George does not like carrots. He won't even try them. Oh, well, more for us then. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca, what else do rabbits like? Rabbits like hopping. Come outside, I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hop. <laughs> rabbits like hopping. You're very good, Rabbit. Lunchtime, children! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Rabbit have prepared lunch. Rebecca has taught us how to be rabbits. Squeak, squeak! Ho, ho! You'll enjoy lunch then. It's our favourite carrots. Delicious! Delicious! Yuck! George will not eat carrots. Oh dear, George. I thought you were a rabbit. Rabbits love carrots. Squeak! Squeak! Mmm. Wow! George is eating a carrot. <laughs> <laughs> and this is our favourite cake. Carrot cake. Hooray! Mmm. Carrot cake. <laughs> George is a proper rabbit now. Squeak! <laughs> seeds? What do seeds do? Seeds grow into plants. I just make a little hole and put the seed in. Then I cover it with earth and water it. Everything in my garden grows from tiny seeds like these. Even the big apple tree? Oh, yes. This tiny seed will grow into a little apple tree, like this. Ooh. And that little apple tree will grow into a big apple tree, like this. Ouch! Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and inside this apple are more seeds. To make more apple trees. Exactly. Grandpa, Grandpa! I want to plant a seed. Would you like to plant a strawberry seed? Yes, please. This seed will grow into a lovely strawberry plant. First, Make a little hole. Then I put the seed in and cover it with earth. Shall I water it for you? No, no. I want to water it. Good. Now we wait for it to grow. Pepper and George are waiting for the seed to grow. It's not doing anything. <laughs> You'll have to be patient, Peppa. It will take a long time to grow. Peppa, George, it's time to go home. But we're waiting for my strawberry plant to grow. <laughs> I want the strawberries for tea. Don't worry, Peppa. Next time you come, the seed will have grown into a plant. <laughs> Tiger's made pizza for lunch. And here's some salad, made with Grandpa's tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. Chuck in, everyone. <laughs> George has eaten his pizza, but George does not like the tomatoes or the lettuce or the cucumber. Oh, dear, George. Don't you like the salad? No. George, just try a little bit of this lovely tomato. Yuck! George, this is cucumber. Grandpa Pig grew it in his garden. Yeah. Try a piece of lettuce, George. It's yummy. <coughs> oh, now, now, George. <coughs> Look what I'm doing. 
Now it's a dinosaur. A dinosaur. <laughs> George loves dinosaurs. George is eating the tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. Well done, George. Would you like some more, George? Full. George, are you too full to eat any more tomatoes, lettuce or cucumber? George is too full to eat any more. George, are you too full to eat anything more? George is too full to eat anything more. Oh, well. Then you won't want any of this chocolate cake. Chocolate cake! <laughs> My word! George seems to have got his appetite back. <laughs> 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 Do you have any tomatoes we might borrow? Borrow? You can take as many tomatoes as you like. The tomatoes have done very well this year. They look a lot bigger than your tomatoes, Grandpa. They may be bigger, but that doesn't mean they're better. Pepper, would you like to taste one? Yes, please. Mmm, <sniffs> yummy. That is the best tomato I have ever tasted Ever. Ah. How did you grow them, Grandad Dog? I didn't really mean to grow them. I just threw some old tomato seeds down in the corner there and they grew. Fill your basket. There's too many for me to eat. Thank you. We're going to make a lovely tomato salad. Ah, I know a great recipe for a tomato salad. Lovely. Can you make it for us? The problem is, my recipe needs basil. And I haven't managed to grow any basil. My grandpa has lots of lovely basil. Really? Oh, yes. Grown heaps of the stuff. Let me show you. Very impressive. Tell me, what's the secret of growing basil? Well, it's quite tricky. The first thing you have to do... I throw some seeds in a pot and the basil grows. You mean it just grows by itself? Uh... Yes. Is it lunchtime yet, Granny? Oh, my poor darlings, you must be starving. Let's make that tomato salad. First we slice the tomatoes. Add a little splash of olive oil, a shake of pepper, a teeny tiny pinch of salt, and finish the whole thing off with these lovely basil leaves. Tuck in, everyone. Mmm, mm, marvellous tomatoes. Thanks to my greenhouse. Mmm, beautiful basil. Thanks to my greenhouse. This is the best tomato salad in the world ever. <laughs> I need you brave explorers to go and get the fruit. Aye, aye, Granny, Granny Pig. We've got baskets for the apples. And buckets for the blackberries. First, the easy bit, picking apples. On the count of three, shake the tree. One, One two, two, three! three. <laughs> <laughs> now for the blackberries. Why don't we just have apple crumble? Because blackberries are tasty too, Grandpa. OK, now the hard bit. Now that's what I call a blackberry bush. This bush has been here since I was a little piggy. It's an overgrown weed. I should have cut it down years ago. Grandpa, why don't you like it? I don't like the way it looks at me. Silly Grandpa, it's just a harmless bush. And it's covered in lovely blackberries. George has seen some really big, juicy blackberries. Mm. Careful, George, or you might get tangled. <laughs> I have a stick for picking hard to reach blackberries. <laughs> Clever, Grandpa. But the best blackberries are right at the very top. That's why I brought the ladder. Um, don't lean too far over, Mummy Pig. Don't worry. I've been climbing this blackberry bush since I was a little girl. Yes, but you're not a little girl now. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, dear. Mummy Pig has fallen into the blackberry bush. Mummy, can you get out? 
Uh, no, I'm stuck. You're stuck in a thorny bush like Sleeping Beauty. What? Once upon a time, there was a princess called Sleeping Beauty. One day, she fell asleep in a thorny bush. It is lunchtime for baby Alexander. Cousin Pepper? is going to feed you today, Alexander. Here you are, baby. <coughs> oh, here it is. <coughs> oh, he keeps turning his head. <coughs> Feeding baby Alexander is quite hard. Watch this. Here comes the aeroplane. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Alexander likes it Ooh. if you pretend the spoon is an aeroplane. You have a go, Pepper. Here comes the aeroplane. <coughs> Open your mouth and in through the doors. <coughs> Hooray! <laughs> that was an aeroplane. Can you say aeroplane? I told you he can't talk. He hasn't even said his first word yet. Peppa, do you remember what your first word was? No. It was mummy. <coughs> I thought Peppa's first word was Daddy. No, Mummy. What was George's first word? Dinosaur. George's <laughs> first word was dinosaur. <laughs> Somebody looks like they had a good lunch. Yes, bath time, I think. Baby Alexander <laughs> is having a bath. <laughs> this is Mr Dinosaur. Can you say dinosaur? Go, go. He can't talk, Peppa. <laughs> but he will talk one day. Then you'll know what he wants. What do you want to do now, Alexander? Go, go. <laughs> I think he wants to go for a walk. He can't walk yet, but he can go out in his buggy. <laughs> That's a clever little buggy. Yes, five gears, mud guards, and ABS as standard. Blah, blah, blah. That's how daddies talk. Daddy Pig is making vegetable soup for lunch. Daddy, can I help? Thank you, Pepper. Can you clear away all these vegetable peelings? Okay. <laughs> Stop, Pepper. Vegetable peelings don't go in the normal bin. They go in this brown bin. Ooh, banana! That's right, George. It's a banana skin. And there are onions and carrots and all sorts of fruit and vegetable leftovers in here. <coughs> Granny and Grandpa will like these. Do Granny and Grandpa Pig eat potato peelings? <laughs> no, Pepper. They're for Grandpa's garden. They help his plants grow. Ooh. We can take these round there after lunch. Oh, goody. <laughs> Mummy Pig, Pepper and George are taking the vegetable peelings over to Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. We're here. Hooray! <laughs> Grandpa Pig, Papa Pig, we've got a special present for you. Ah, vegetable peelings. <laughs> Fantastic! My garden will like these. Does your garden eat vegetables? Oh, ho, ho. no, Pepper. These peelings are for my compost heap. What's that? I'll show you. Here it is. It's a wooden box. Yes, Pepper, but it's a very clever wooden box. I put these peelings in the top and then out of the bottom comes lovely, rich earth called compost. How does it do that? Is it a magic box? Oh, oh no, Pepper. I've got some little friends that give it some help. Where? In here. <laughs> Look. Ah, wriggly worm. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> The worms turn all the fruit and vegetables into compost. Come and see my carrots. Grandpa Pig is very proud of his vegetables. Ooh. And here are my peas. Ah. But best of all are my lettuces. Oh, no! My lettuces! 
I think the birds have eaten them, Grandpa. Yes, birds. Why didn't Mr Scarecrow scare them away? Because the birds that ate my lettuces are very stupid. What's the matter, Grandpa Pig? Your friends have been eating my vegetables again. Which friends? Tom, Dick and Harry. <coughs> Those aren't their names. Granny Pig has chickens. Wow! Say hello to Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. Hello. <laughs> and here is Neville. <laughs> Is Neville a boy chicken? Yes, Pepper. He's a cockerel. He's the worst. Scratching up my vegetables. Neville wouldn't hurt a fly. I've seen him eat flies. <coughs> and he ate my lettuce. You don't want to eat Grandpa's lettuce, do you? <coughs> Not when there's lovely corn to eat. <coughs> Come on, this way home. <coughs> Peppa, George, would you like to feed corn to the chickens? Yes, please, Granny. <coughs> Here you are, chickens. Eat up. <coughs> Ooh, you've got a Wendy house. That's the chicken coop. It's where the chickens lay their eggs. Eggs? I can't see any eggs. Not now, but there will be eggs soon. Ooh! It is bedtime for Pepper and George at Granny and Grandpa's house. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy is the piggy in the middle. <laughs> Cats, George. Oh, missed it. George has caught the ball. Hooray! <laughs> well done, George. Now you throw the ball to Peppa. Oh, try again. Oh, try again. George cannot throw the ball past Mummy Pig. Come on, George, give the ball to me. <laughs> Silly George. <laughs> I can do that too. <laughs> Peppa wanted to copy George, but she's too big and has got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the ball. Peppa, now it's your turn to be piggy. George, catch. Hooray! Hooray! George, you're the piggy. <laughs> George, catch. <laughs> catch the ball, George. <laughs> catch, George. <laughs> George, catch. <laughs> Here's the ball, George. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> oh, dear. Peppa, you shouldn't tease George like that. <laughs> Sorry, George. <laughs> What's all the noise? Daddy, George is too little to play piggy in the middle. Oh, I'm sure he's big enough. No, he isn't, Daddy. Watch. Catch it, George. Hooray! <laughs> 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 the wind is quite strong now. The wind is very strong now. George! <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy Pig flies the kite. Hooray! <laughs> higher, higher. <laughs> Daddy Pig flies the kite very well. <sighs> yes, I am a bit of an expert at these things. Watch out for the trees. You might get the kite stuck in one. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig has got the kite caught in a tree. Oh, no. Oh. 
Don't worry, George. Daddy will get the kite down. Hooray! Uh, yes. Careful! There's a big muddy puddle. Pepper and George love to jump in muddy puddles. Can we jump in the puddle? Please? <laughs> no, I don't want you covered in mud. Oh. Stand back, children. Please be careful, Daddy Pig. I know what I'm doing. Please be careful. <laughs> Just a bit further, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you are much too heavy for that branch. Nonsense! I know exactly how heavy I am. Let's race to Daddy Pig's pumpkin. If we race to Daddy's pumpkin, we have to be very careful not to bump into it. Daddy would be very sad if the pumpkin got broken. Don't worry, Peppa. Race you! <laughs> Peppa and her friends are racing to Daddy Pig's pumpkin. Hey, watch out for my pumpkin! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, look out! Daddy's pumpkin! Ah! Sorry, Daddy. <laughs> look at George, he's going so slowly. <laughs> George is still riding a baby bike. <laughs> Yours is a baby bike too, Peppa. You've still got stabilizers. I can ride without my stabilizers. <laughs> me too. And me. <laughs> Let's ride up the hill again. <laughs> Are you coming, Peppa? No, I think I'll stay here. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Bye. Peppa wishes she did not have stabilizers on her bicycle. Daddy, I don't want stabilizers anymore. Do you think you can ride without them? Yes. All right, Peppa. Let's take them off. Daddy Pig is taking the stabilizers off Peppa's bicycle. Are you sure you want to ride without stabilizers? Yes. You've never done it before. I can do it. I can. I can. <laughs> it's not funny. Riding without stabilizers is not easy. Would you like some help, Peppa? Yes, please, Daddy. All right. Ready, steady, go! Don't let go, Daddy. Don't worry, I've got you. You're doing really well, Peppa. To play basketball, you need to train hard and keep fit. Are you fit, Daddy Coach? Yes, I'm super fit. But, Daddy Coach, you've got a big tummy. This tummy is pure muscle. <laughs> First, I'll teach you how to get the ball from here to here. I can do that. No, Daddy. You can't use your feet. That's football. Danny Dog likes football. In basketball, you bounce the ball with your hands, like this. Who wants a go? Me, me, me! Susie Sheep is bouncing the basketball very carefully. Well done, Susie. Now everyone try. Everyone is learning how to bounce the ball. <laughs> now I'll teach you tackling. What's tackling? Tackling is trying to get the ball from another player, like this. Try and get the ball from me, George. <laughs> George is very good at tackling. Now throw the ball through the hoop. <laughs> You need just a bit more training there, George. <laughs> Let's have a little practice game. Split into two teams. Boys against girls. <laughs> the girls are in one team, the boys are in the other. That's not fair. We've got little ones on our team. Don't worry, the boys' team will still win. Yeah, we're a super team. 
Emily Elephant is very good at reaching high with her trunk. Emily's using her trunk. It's not fair. Shush, Peppa. She's on our side. Oh, yes, that is fair. <laughs> 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 the tricky bit is catching the wave. Ready, steady, now, Peppa! Tylee is being carried along by a wave. <laughs> Don't miss the next one, Peppa! <laughs> Ready, steady, go! Whee! Isn't it awesome? is the best thing ever. It's true. <laughs> Surfing is the best thing ever. Ready, steady, go! Whee! <laughs> George wants to go surfing. Sorry, George. You're a bit too little to go surfing. Oh, the waves are getting too big for Pepper and Carly. Oh, is it time to go home? Are you kidding? These waves are perfect for grown-ups to surf. That's proper surfing. These waves are awesome. Wow. wow! Kylie, where's your little brother? He's out there with Mum. <laughs> Having fun, Joey? <laughs> <laughs> Your turn to surf, guys. Thank you, but I'm quite happy to watch. Why don't you have a go, Mr Pig? Why not? It does look fun. Oh, the waves have gone. Too bad, Mr Pig. Looks like you've missed your chance to surf today. Oh, that's a shame. But it's just right for little George to go paddling in. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come with you, George. <laughs> no surfing, George, but you can sit on me instead. <laughs> Pepper is in charge of the lucky dip. Roll up, roll up for your lucky dip. Moo! Hello, Pepper. Hello, Mr. Bull. You've got a green face. I'm an apple. Ooh, would you like to try the lucky dip? OK. What do I do? Just pull a prize out of the barrel. Everyone a winner. Mr Bull has won a dolly. Can I have a go? Mrs Cat has won a digger. Oh, do you want to swap? No, oh, thank, thank you. you. Mr Bull and Mrs Cat like their lucky dip prizes. <laughs> Roll up, roll up. Freddy Fox is in charge of the mummies and daddies race. Thank you. It's all to raise money for a new school roof. I'm quite good at running. <laughs> it's not running, Daddy. It's a sack race. Oh. You have to get in the bag and jump over there. <laughs> as fast as you can. Right. On your marks, get set. But really, we must thank the children for all their hard work. Thank, thank you, children. children. And we have raised enough money to buy a new school roof. Again. <laughs> right, let's warm up. Everyone, run on the spot. <laughs> and clap your arms. <laughs> now, stretch. Stretch. Wobble like a jelly. <laughs> <laughs> and rest. Now we're all warmed up, we can start. Start what? Your adventure. 
I want you to pretend that this room is a jungle. It doesn't look like a jungle. Where are the trees? You have to imagine it. The trees, the rain, the fast flowing river at your feet. Your first adventure is to walk on this beam across the river. Well, that's easy. Ah, but it's night time and it's windy. <sighs> what? That's how it was for me. It was a dark and stormy night. I was on an adventure. Ready? <laughs> but it's not windy or night time. You have to pretend. Everyone crosses the pretend river safely. Hooray! Well done, my little explorers. What's next, Grumpy Rabbit? Your next adventure is to swing across this swamp full of crocodiles. Ah! can't see any crocodiles. You've got to pretend. Let those crocodiles know who's boss. Go away, you naughty crocodiles. That's the spirit. Did you ever swing across a crocodile swamp? Of course I did. Were you scared? Not as scared as they were of me. <laughs> ah! Now you must run to the real Windy Castle. Oh. Ready, steady, go! Hooray! <laughs> Come on, Daddy Pig! You can make it! <laughs> Come on, Pass! You can make it! The school bus has made it to Windy Castle. Now everyone can enjoy the picnic. Water. Water. What a lovely hot day. And such a relaxing way to raise money, too. Water. Water. Daddy Pig has reached the supermarket. All the running has made him very thirsty. Let's look through the telescope. I can see Daddy. The telescope makes everything look closer. Oh, he's not going very fast. Daddy Pig has arrived at Grandad Dog's garage. Oh, that's it. I can't go on. Daddy has stopped. Oh. You look rather hot. You need something to cool you down and give you energy. Have an ice lolly. Thank you, Grandad Dog. That's nice. Ah, a wasp. Shoo, shoo. Get away, you little pest. The wasp wants to share Daddy Pig's ice lolly. No, this is my lolly. Daddy started running again, really fast. Hooray! Ah, get off, get off. You can stop now, Daddy Pig. We have enough money to fix the school roof. Ah! Daddy Pig has lost the wasp. To you, Susie. Oh, missed it. Ball boy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, ball boy. Oh, ball boy. <laughs> Thank you, Ball Boy. Ball Boy! Oh dear, George doesn't like this game. Here are Danny Dog, Pedro Pony, Candy Cat, Rebecca Rabbit and Richard Rabbit. Hello everyone! Hello! We're playing tennis. Can we play too? But there aren't enough rackets. Oh! oh. Let's play something else. Let's play football. Yes, football! <laughs> Girls against boys. <laughs> <laughs> we each need a goalkeeper. Me, 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 me! <laughs> Pedro Pony and Rebecca Rabbit will be the goalkeepers. We'll start. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
Richard Rabbit has scored a goal. The boys are winning. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. We weren't ready. <laughs> hey, that's cheating. You can't hold the ball. Yes, I can. I'm the goalkeeper. Go, Rebecca, go. Go. <laughs> go. Hooray. The goal is not allowed. Yes, it is. No, no it, it isn't. isn't. Yes, yes, it is. is. No, what it a isn't. lot of noise. Daddy, the boys are cheating. No, the girls are cheating. It sounds like you need a referee. What's a referee? It's someone who makes sure that everyone plays fair. Me. Sorry, Richard. I can't reach. It's too far down. Mummy. I can't swim underwater. Even I can't swim underwater. Hmm. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. <sighs> Hooray! <laughs> there you go. Well done, Daddy Pig. I am rather good at swimming underwater. <laughs> <laughs> the watering can is for babies. Can we jump off the diving boards now? Sorry, Pepper. Diving boards are only for grown-ups. Oh. oh. Cheer up, you two. You can watch me die. Silly Daddy, your tummy is too big. <laughs> Nonsense. I won trophies for my diving when I was younger. That was quite a long time ago, Daddy Pig. It's lucky I've kept myself so fit and strong. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. You'll get a better view if you watch me from the side. Please don't splash us with water, Daddy. Of course I won't splash you, Pepper. I think I need a higher board. Please be careful, Daddy Pig. Yes, don't splash us, Daddy. <laughs> don't worry, Pepper. Don't splash us with water, Daddy. I told you I wouldn't splash. Clever, <laughs> Daddy. Well done, Daddy Pig. No need for my towel. I've got a special way of drying myself. Yeah. Daddy Pig has splashed everyone with water. Daddy Pig! Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>